Hello everyone and welcome to the special United Week edition of GSI Weekly Special. I am your host, Andrew Wang. And I'm Bio Danikin. As you can see, we're not in our studio today, but we're here on location at Pacific Academy, the place where United Week, or as some of it, or some people call it Spirit Week slash Gap Week, yeah. uh, has been taking place since Tuesday. Uh, all of us high school students have been gathering in the unit in the auditorium for about an hour uh, these past couple of days to listen to a number of inspirational speakers share their message on being reborn. Uh, so first up here is me, Andrew Wang. Uh -huh. <laughs> yes, to give us his overview of Spirit Week. Um, so this was United Week today, and it occurred from Tuesday to Friday, and happened every day. Um, for an hour, so it's like church service every day for an hour. And there were many speakers that gave really inspirational messages like having old school faith and also as well as throwing our sins and casting our burdens to Jesus in a, in a metaphoric way which was really impacting to the community of PA and I believe that this may be the changer of our school and may bond us together and give us more community. And um, give us that revival to search and go for Jesus. Yeah. Uh, so thank you very much, Andrew. Uh, joining us now uh, is Matt Wong. Uh, so Matt, can you just share with us a little bit of uh, some important things you learned from United Week or anything that stuck out to you? Um, well, I think it's been pretty cool that we've had chapel every day this week. It's something we don't do very often. Um, uh, so some important messages. I think the worship team has done a really good job. Yeah, just the, even the songs. And yeah, the song selection and stuff, and it's just allowed us to really engage in worship. But we haven't really done that a lot in high school, yeah. and so I think that's been a really good job of important lessons just to worship God no matter what your circumstances are. Um, that's what Daniel and the worship team were repeating um, the entire week, and um, I really liked Kobe's message on old school faith. Like, it doesn't matter whether. Like you've sinned a lot or whether you're like a top student or whatever, everybody has their problems regardless. Mm -hmm. And it's because that we have this faith that we have um, allows us to move past any like circumstances. Mm -hmm. And I think that's a pretty important lesson. So I think that impacted me the most this week. Mm -hmm. So uh, would you recommend our school to do something like this again in the future? Oh yeah, and just definitely. To, you know, I think for other grades. Because... Yeah, I think I think this is something we should do every year. Like. Just to make um, it really gives the school a sense of community, like that's been huge yeah. this year, um, especially with like Taylor Stein passing away and stuff. And so I, I believe like this should be this should happen every year. Um, really gets the school connected with um, what really matters because we are a Christian school. Um, so yeah, def I would definitely hope that even though I'm graduating next year, that like all of us are, that would continue over the other grades. All right, and oh yeah, also do you think um, this has helped to build our school spirit and just maybe like made us more closely you know, united together? Uh, yeah, to come definitely, to especially on a spiritual level. Yeah. Like you, like again, the worship team has done a really good job to get everybody to worship. Like I think that has brought forth a sense of community too. Um, and it's... And so do you think this is gonna like change people's perspective on, you know, having chapel every Wednesday? And it's not gonna be like, Hopefully. The same routine, you know, ordinary kind of yeah. mundane. You know. Well, you can't really control what people like think, but I hope yeah. like because of this week, like people will view, cha view chapel in a different way. Um, they'll see it as a time to just engage, and not it's not like a time where they're like, forced to do something. Mm -hmm. Like I really hope like people enjoy start enjoying chapels now because of what happened this week, and it doesn't just fade away and go back to it's just not a one time. Yeah, exactly. Thank you, Matt, for sharing with us your thoughts on Spirit Week. One thing that we have been reminded a couple of times during our times of worship is the reason behind why some of us raise our hands when we worship God. And the answer to that is because this is a sign of us surrendering ourselves to God and lifting Him high above everything else. And so as we invite Tiffany and other musicians to bring us our next song, The Stand, we want to ask those of you who are watching our show at home today to please join us in worshiping the Lord our God. And when you feel the urge to, don't hesitate in raising your hand to lift our God up, high above everything else. So here's Tiff with The Stand. Tomorrow, 
starting or sharing with us what you thought about uh, United Week and some of the important things that you learned. Just maybe one thing. One thing? Yeah. Well, that ball, golf ball off the cliff thing was actually pretty, uh, it was a really striking analogy, you know, because like in the first part where he's just like, oh, you hit the golf balls off the cliff, right? I was like, yeah. I kind of got that part because it's like a lot of speakers use it. Well, not a lot of speakers use it, but like I kind of really get common. it. But then when he said like, oh, some people go dive for the golf balls and bring them back, I was like, mm, yeah, that's true. It's like sometimes when you sin and then you ask God to forgive you, and then, you but then sometimes you, you go back to your own sin. But yeah. it's just that God never gives up on you. Like it's not like if you repeat it, then he's like, oh, I don't care about you anymore. It's just like he's such a loving God that he would like continually repeat no matter how many times to. Really like merciful, merciful. Yeah, God. he's a merciful yeah. God. Oh. Uh, so, what about you, Bio? What did you learn about this week? Well, I guess the very first uh, message was the old school faith one that really stuck with me because it's very, very practical. Because well, he's uh, No, <laughs> no, no. Honestly, though, no, but no, yeah, it sure. was really, it was really engaging. Yes. And just about you know people. Like when we talk about faith, like people don't really get what that really means, yeah. right? You know, having Take like that leap of faith, yeah, you know, that you know really yeah. believing that okay, God can do this, and you know, not having mm -hmm. to worry about you know your circumstances or whatever problems that you're going through. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I think that was the most yeah. important one for me. Uh, well, that is that is about it from all of us here on the Location at Pacific Academy today. Uh, as always, there are many ways you can stay in touch with us. Uh, you can watch our shows, including the GSI. Canucks, Canucks play playoff show, sure. yes, on youtube.com slash the GSI VN. Stay connected with us on Facebook at facebook.com slash GSI, and also follow us on Twitter at GSI underscore VN. 
don't forget to continue to cheer on your Vancouver Canucks as they continue the battle with the LA Kings in this first round of the 2012 Stanley Cup playoffs. Anyways, before we go today, let's hand things over to Tiffany as she has some very important and serious news to tell us. Tiff? Thanks guys. Well, as all of you have known for a couple of days now, Taylor Ann Stein, a graduate of PA at the age of 21, passed away in a tragic car crash on Good Friday. She was driving her car in Surrey on the afternoon of April 6th when she crashed head on with a semi truck. She died later that day in the hospital. As a result of this tragedy, a movement was started by her friends to reach out to Justin Bieber in hopes that the heartthrob singer will honor her memory with a personal message. Justin Bieber has since very kindly responded to the movement with a follow to her Twitter account at T underscore Stein. But her friends are now hoping that the singer will go one step further and have him sing My Girl by The Temptations in dedication to her. So, we hope that all of you who are watching our show will, will display your support for this movement by sharing the YouTube video created by the group Taze Believers, asking Justin Bieber to perform that song on Twitter to at Justin Bieber with the hashtag Taze Believers. For all the latest updates on the movement and ways you can contribute to help them find Bieber, you can check out the links below. If you are interested in attending the funeral service, Taylor's Celebration of Life will be held on Sunday the 15th at 4 p.m. at the Chandis Patterson Auditorium. The details will also be available on the Taylor's Believers Facebook page. We sincerely wish God will look over her family and bless them through these times of grief as they prepare for this service this weekend. Rest in peace, Taylor. And this is it for GSI Weekly Special today. And before we go, here's one last song for all of you. One Thing Remains by the Jesus Cult by Jesus Culture. Sorry. His love never fails, never gives up, never runs out on me. Strong. 